Art is all about pushing boundaries. I have a bad feeling about this. As a creative person, I'm always looking for inspiration for new stuff, new content, whatever I can get that gives me ideas to do videos on or pictures or TikToks or Instagrams or whatever. I love to get inspired by something. Even in cooking, y'all, I love to go to the grocery store and see, oh, you know what? Them green onions look fresh. I bet you, I wonder if they have some shrimp. And you just start leasing and stuff and you get ideas. Inspiration just does something to you. But by artists, they get to create wonderful things. And I know that it's really, really important to get good good subjects you know what I mean things that can really really help you when I started to learn how to draw I started getting the ideas for things that I wanted to draw and sometimes I see things and I'll be like I want to try to draw that you know it gives you that inspiration naturally we react to horror and SCP on this channel so this story is gonna be creepy it's by strangest stories and it's about an artist that wants a better subject for his drawings of corpses. Go on over to Stranger Stories channel, click the subscribe button, click the notification bell, and if you like reaction videos, make sure to subscribe to this channel as well, guys. Let's get into the animation. Stickman's model. So, Mr. Stickland, tell us about your name. Stickman, it's rather self-explanatory, isn't it? I have a penchant for painting cadavers, or stickmen. Oh. The intricate subtleties of decay, rot, muscular decomposition, yeah. and tissue defilements a particular interest of mine. I've never heard After of After a while, the critics stickmen. started calling me stickmen, and with the time, I simply embraced the name. And the inspiration behind these paintings? Oh, you know, the usual. It started out pretty mundane. Okay. Books on anatomy, horror, right. art macabre, the odd autopsy report. Autopsy reports? <laughs> like, you looking at real dead bodies? Uh, like from a crime lab? I mean, honestly, you can really see it on TV nowadays. If you watch, what, what not CSI, but uh, what's the other one that always has a... Uh, not law and order either. Uh, Criminal Minds. Man, they got... Whoo! They got some stories there. You get some inspiration from a series like that. Plenty of cadavers to look at too, but not up close. And autopsy reports, that's a little thats a little real. How do you get them in the first place? Yeah, I toss a coin or a few coins and should uh, look the other way while I studied some of the photos. Bribing the... I would guess bribing. half of my works are inspired by a sordid mix of those. Dang. And the other half? Oh, you know how it goes. Art is all about pushing boundaries. Challenging the status quo, moving uh -oh. past invisible barriers. I have a bad feeling about this. Look, who who's with me? Who thinks who thinks that he's either got a body from the morgue or actually killed somebody? I you know <laughs> I'm I'm gonna go with the latter. Raging against the machine, etc. The next logical step was of course to bring in a real one for close examination. Uh huh. A real one, a real cadaver. So you stole a and body. Boy, they aren't as easy to come by as you might think. <laughs> so how did you get them? You can't just go to the store. I attempted to go through the proper channels first. I really did. Uh huh. Late night visits to the graveyard. Oh, why didn't shovel. even think of my grave you robbing? Know the drill. <laughs> have you ever tried exhuming a body? Uh, no. <laughs> it's exhausting. I guess so. Six feet of excruciating manual labor. Took me three hours to get nowhere before I just gave up. I guess so. So how then? I had to make them, didn't I? Not to mention, if you had a graveyard and you digging for that long, somebody's gonna see you. <laughs> somebody's gonna see. You know how long it would take to manually shovel out that much earth to get to a coffin? <sighs> a lot, you know? A lot. It's not like they wouldn't have died anyways. Just helped them along. Gave them a little push. Sometimes a little stab. Wait, what? I know it might sound extreme, but that's art for you. You can't hold back, lest you betray the very essence of who you are. Oh, you can hold back. How many? A half a dozen. I'd keep them propped up Dang. for a month or so. You know, to observe early decomposition, savoring the scent. The beauties of bacterias at work. 
Have you ever seen my piece, The Putrefaction, Oranos? So he went to kill it him. It was the first one inspired by my newfound process. God. I have not. I can't imagine what about the, the last smell. one? Ah, yes. My magnum opus. She's the reason I'm here, is she not? Elvira, the Eternal. To be honest, she's the only one I'd call a true model, you know? There was just something about her. How Dang. long, Stickland? Oh, she was important. I had special plans for her. I knew it from the moment I saw her. Fragile, but powerful. Wow. Scared, but beautiful. It was the next step, detective. Always the next step. How long, you piece of shit? I kept her alive for 13 months. Sliced off a little piece of her every oh, day. Oh no. The tissue decomposition of a living model is something special to behold. Wow. Factor in the pain, the screams, the smell, the pure What a flesh, sicko, dude! Pure perfection. You've seen the painting. A thousand years from now, that's all they'll remember. You monster. Dang. All they'll remember is the art. What a freak, dude! Look, I know as a creative person, some people would label me weird and different and stuff like that. I would never, yo, I get, I get, I get, I get heartbroken when I accidentally injure animals. I second guess myself before I kill insects sometimes. I just love life. I couldn't do that to somebody. It takes a special kind of person to hurt somebody else and take any kind of enjoyment out of it and then draw it or paint it. Uh-uh. <laughs> No, 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 man. But Stranger Stories always got these, these hard hit ones, man. Look, make sure to go over to this channel and subscribe, guys. And if you like videos like this, make sure to subscribe to this channel as well. There's other videos that you might like right here, too. Thanks so much for watching, guys. As always, this is Zuljan signing off, and we'll see you next time. Break it down.